Now, dear students, be ready with your computer book. Chapter number 3 The name of the chapter is Parts of a Computer. I repeat, Chapter 3, Parts of a Computer. Now, my dear students, today in this chapter, we are going to learn First, main parts of a computer. What are the main parts of the computer? Monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse. Next, additional devices connected to a computer. What are the additional devices? Printer, scanner, speakers and headphones. Now we'll begin. As we have different parts in our body, a computer also has many parts. As we human beings, have many parts like head, hands, legs, brain, eyes, nose. In the same way, a computer also has many parts. All these parts work together to do any work on a computer. If you want to do any work on a computer, you need to have all these parts with the computer connected. Now, what are they? Monitor, keyboard mouse, CPU cabinet and a printer. The first main part. What is the first main part of a computer? It's monitor. So a monitor looks like a television. You can see in your big book, dear children, there's a television like screen. This is called a monitor. We can see movies and cartoons on it. You watch movies at home? So in the same way, we can see the monitor here. In this, you can see movies, cartoons. Next, it shows the work that we do on a computer. Whatever work we do, typing, writing text, watching movies, cartoons, any work is shown on this part of the computer, which is called the monitor. Next, we have CPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. A CPU is the brain of a computer. As we have brain in the same way, a computer also has a brain, which is the CPU. It is present inside the CPU box. You can see black color, rectangular shape thing is kept here. It is called the CPU cabinet. You have seen in your classrooms also. And this part is called the CPU. Now, it helps a computer to think and work according to the given orders. This CPU helps the computer to think and do any work according to the given orders. The next third part is a keyboard. You must have seen a mobile, a Casio or a calculator. These are the pictures of mobile Casio calculators. So, do you find anything common in these pictures? Yes, all of them have a keypad with many keys. So you can see the keys here. Many keys with different functions. Each key has a different function. In the same way, a computer too has a keyboard with many keys. So here is the Picture of the keyboard, you can see here alphabets are given numbers, uh, enter key, shift key, control key, arrow keys. So, so many keys are given and this is a called a keyboard. These keys are used to type letters, words, numbers and special characters. Next we have mouse. Fourth part is the mouse. A computer mouse looks like a real mouse. It has two buttons on it. It helps us to draw pictures and play games. It is used to point and select things on the monitor. So you have seen a mouse dear students. In the same way this computer's mouse also looks like a real mouse. It also has a tail. It also it's small like a mouse. Real mouse. And it has two buttons on it, right button and left button. So this mouse is used to draw pictures and play games. It is used to select things also. 
Next, additional devices connected to a computer. What is the additional devices? It's the printer. What is the use of a printer? It is used to take print out on a paper. Next, the printed copy is called the hard copy. So, this picture is called the printer. The book which you have in your hand, this paper is also the hard copy. This print, it is the printed copy and it is printed with the help of a printer. Our next additional device is a scanner. What is a scanner? It is a machine that reads text or pictures which is printed on a paper and these printed texts or pictures are stored into a computer by the scanner. So it is a machine that reads text or pictures printed on a paper and stores them into a computer. Next we have speakers. Speakers are used to listen to music or any sound stored on a computer. Any sound, any music which is stored in a computer can be heard or listened through these speakers. Then they come in pairs. These speakers always come in pairs. Next they are connected to the CPU through a cable. It is connected with the help of a wire or a cable. Next, headphones. Headphones are worn over the ears. They are used to listen to music or any sound stored on a computer. So, you also have used, have seen how headphones looks like. See, it's given in the book. Next, the structures given in the book are uh, fill in the blanks. Number one, dash is the brain of a computer. So, here are the hints given. Pick up the answers from the hints given. So, number one will be CPU. CPU is the brain of a computer. Number two, we can type alphabets or numbers using the dash. That is the keyboard. Next Three, a dash is used to take a printout on a paper. Answer, printer. Number four, a dash is a machine that reads text or pictures printed on a paper. It's the scanner. Next, number five, dash are used to listen to music stored on a computer. It's the speakers. The speakers are used to listen to music stored on a computer. Our next structure is B. Write T for true or F for false. Number one, a monitor shows the work that we do on a computer. True. Two, you can watch stories on the CPU. False. Three, a keyboard is used to draw pictures. False. F number four, Speakers come in pairs. True. C. Rearrange the jumbled letters to get the name of a computer part. Number one. M S E O U. Answer will be mouse. M O U S E. Number two. R O T I O N M. The correct answer is monitor. M O N I T O R. Number three, D R A O B Y E K. Correct answer is keyboard. K E Y B O A R D. Keyboard. D. Tick the right answer. Number one, a dash is used to point at things on the monitor. Options A C P U, B mouse, C printer. Correct answer is B mouse. 2. A monitor looks like a dash, A television, B CPU, C mouse. The correct answer is A television. Number 3. A dash is used to take a printout on a paper. Options A, a monitor, 
B mouse, C printer. Answer is C printer. Next, number four, a dash is present inside the CPU box. A CPU, B monitor, C speakers. The correct answer is A CPU. E, answer in one word. Number one, what is used to type letters, numbers or words? Answer is keyboard. Number two, which part of a computer helps us to draw pictures? Mouse. M-O-U-S-E, mouse. Number three, name the device that is worn over the ears to listen to music. Headphone, H-E-A-D, P-H-O-N-E, headphone. Number four, which device helps in reading text or pictures printed on a paper? It's scanner, S-C-A-N-N-E-R, scanner. So, write these answers carefully in your book. And for your question answers, you have to check again the website. Thank you. Take care.